Sepsis. Anyone can get it, you can help to prevent it. What is sepsis? Sepsis arises when an infection alters the body's normal response, causing injury to tissue and organs. Every year, sepsis affects more than 30 million people worldwide. Every year, sepsis affects 3 million newborns and 1.2 million children. It potentially kills 6 million people and up to half a million newborns. Sepsis causes 1 in 10 maternal deaths. Who is at risk? Anyone with an infection can develop sepsis, but some are more at risk than others, like pregnant women, neonates, the elderly, the immunosuppressed, hospitalized patients, and people with multiple chronic diseases. How and where do we prevent sepsis? Sepsis can be prevented by preventing infection or preventing the evolution of infection to sepsis. In our communities, infection can be prevented by practicing good hygiene. Hand washing with soap can cut the risk of diarrhea by 40%. Water sanitation and hygiene improvement, which can reduce the total burden of disease worldwide by 10% ensuring safe food preparation and good nutrition. In children, 50% of diarrhea diseases and 30% of respiratory infections could be prevented with enhanced breastfeeding. Getting vaccinated. Vaccinations prevent two to three million deaths every year. While in healthcare, we can prevent sepsis by practicing the five moments for hand hygiene, which can reduce infection by 50% maintaining a clean environment and well-functioning equipment, having safe water and sanitation, having infection prevention and control programs and teams. This can reduce the risk of infection by at least 30%. Reliably applying infection prevention measures. In both the community and health facilities, early detection of sepsis, prompt seeking of medical care, prompt antimicrobial treatment and its optimization after reassessment can prevent the evolution of an infection to sepsis. All together, we can help prevent sepsis and save millions of lives every year.